right, guys, before I open this door, I'm going to need the squishy people to get in the back, and I want the sturdy people up by me. Mm. Armando will move his soft and squishy underbelly to the back side of the room. You Thank are... you, Armando. Mm-hmm. I'm yours to command. <laughs> tell me, you tell me to get back, I just say how far. <laughs> uh, keep going. Keep, keep going and keep going. <laughs> Trip over the dead kobolds. I mean, you're not that far. Please don't mention them. I'm still, still really sad that we murdered all of them. <laughs> I'm just, you are. It's all right. I'm over it. I'm over it. And I, I would like to, uh, to open the door. We already checked for traps, and there wasn't any. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stealthily open the door. Son of a bitch. Well, yeah. once, I, once I realize that there's a little push, I'm going to be like, Artorius, can, can you just open the door, actually? Yes. Is it open? <laughs> okay, I'm using my crowbar, so I believe I have advantage on this. You would have advantage with us helping otherwise. Yeah, so... So, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I open the door for you. Like a boss. Yep. Because he is the boss. Wait, like, we can't see his hand as in, like, his hand is invisible, or it's, like, it's covered by, like, a robe? Okay.
<laughs> I, okay, is it possible for me to roll nature on the dragonborn? Uh, this dragonborn. Uh, what are his uh, what is what are what are his uh his uh, strengths as a dragonborn? Yeah. yeah. Uh, eleven. So, so what? What would I know about? Mm. Okay, I tell my party this: be careful of the dragonborn. He may not be as strong as what would be typical dragonborn is. Uh, Relaxer, we're waiting on your initiative. I, I didn't hear the request to do it. Grip. Oh, look at that dwarf initiative. Look <laughs> at it. It's higher than my elf initiative. Yeah, All for right. real. <laughs> See you, Mimic. The mimic uh, want to hurt us. Ty goes to the runner. And I'm going to, uh, with my arms empty of weapons, going to walk forward, not not too close, keeping my distance. Just be like, guys, I had no idea you would be here. What a coincidence. We're just wandering through, and look at you guys. Just look at yourselves. That's, uh, that's it. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to be taking the uh, dodge action. I'm sorry, could you speak common, please? He called you TC. Time child. Yeah, so that's my turn. I take the uh, dodge action. Just gonna try and hide in plain sight. Oh, okay. Oh, for, for one, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. Go ahead. Yes. Then. Okay. Oh yeah, Tommy, you have the light on your daggers. Yeah. All right, I'll uh, squeeze past Armando here and see what I can see. So Tommy's all the way in there. So I assume this door is open right here. Okay. So I'll come in and I'll, um, well, I guess if I can ready, I'll just ready a, uh,
Okay. And, and what does my character know about that? Because the player knows nothing. Okay. Death God, cultist, and a life... Oh, I'm not a life cleric. I'm an arcana cleric. All right, well, I will uh, I will ready my firebolt in case there, there's any aggressive movement on their part. <laughs> That's what we like. Indeed. Good job to Armando. Yes, Mr. Estrada. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to remember to unmute my mic. <laughs> Ar Armando will, will mosey on this way. And so no one else has taken, like, aggressive action yet, right, towards mm. us? No. It's just been everybody's been looking kind of, kind of sketchy. <laughs> but you were talking. So are these friends of yours? Because I'll, I'll ask you. I'll say, um, are these friends of yours or should Armando... Put a bolt between their eyes. So are those friends of yours, or should I try and kill them? Can you hear me? Tommy the Cat, are they friends of yours? It's channel at the moment. Oh, okay, that explains why I'm like, oh no, I thought I like I wasn't connected. Um, well, uh, Mr. DM, since you know Tommy's backstory, do, are those friends of his, or would like would he be mad if I shot them? No, I, I just came back. My shit froze. Okay, you're back. Yeah, what? Uh... Yours? So yeah, uh, Monsieur uh, Dungato, because I like to mix my accents and words together. I mean, I mean, do I actually have time to respond to him? Is that? I thought I don't get to respond to my turn. Because no one's taken any like violent actions yet, so I don't want to just. I'm ready to shoot people. If I don't get like a, a proper answer, because we've already killed everything else we've come across, so I'm just gonna go with the flow. Armando, I can't tell you what to do. All I'm just saying is, what the fuck are they doing here? You make an excellent point. Uh, Armando shoots off the the crossbow. <laughs> Where did the character shoot go? There it is. There. Crossbow. Uh, the closest one to me. Um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna move back just because I'm a little bitch. Hmm. <laughs> so. <laughs> So I shoot and run back. Yeah, I can't even see what's going on. So five, ten, fifteen. It's a tiny room. And Is there a difference in these auras that we know of? One's the ones that's been injured or something? Okay. Okay. All right. Um,
All right, this guy. I say. What kind of self respecting elf wears a mask on their face? I'm going to tell your mother that you're hiding uh, ancestry and viciously mock him. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. Page, let me, let me hit my button. It's like damage. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see, for the sake of honesty here. Okay, there's no, I was just making sure there's no charm. Um, right, right, okay. Um, Okay. Well, yeah, I, I, I thought there wasn't, but I need to double check. So I've seen out calm, I've gone. So yeah, I just moved back. So that'll be it for me. So I'm going to move here so I can see what the hell is going on. Okay. So from my vantage point, can I tell that negotiations are over and we're throwing down? All right, fair enough. All right, let's try throwing a bomb at the middle guy. I guess I have line of sight, yeah. I mean, if you have line of sight on the thing, you have line of sight. Woo. So then... And then with the other two, deck save for splash. Bombard them. I'm going to slide back here and keep the the run shoot with the passageway clear for the rest of us range characters and pass my turn. Of course it is. Ooh. Okay, that's all. And then Cabal is going to move up and shoot the first elf. And then H Horde Breaker lets him attack. Yep, so he's going to attack the next guy too. That's right, so it's 20 damage then.
Yep. Uh, I will be moving and finishing off this guy with my great axe. Uh, so let me see. That hits. 15. Did that kill it? Okay, so you see Artorius come in with his mighty strength. He slash the elf to the ground in a one hit combo. Uh, let's see. I'm going to. Did you going... say one hit combo? Isn't it like. Yeah. <laughs> don't you need more than one to make a combo? Yeah. A no, you one. A Not one if you're really good. A one flashing move downwards. <laughs> he was already injured. He just finishing, finished it off. And then I move up to the last one with the rest of the movement. And then that's turnover. Is this the one that has disadvantage? Oh. Okay, so what do I roll to counter its grapple? Okay. Can I uh, shoot my firebolt now? Once he takes an aggressive action? Sounds good. Wow. <laughs> like the match at him. <laughs> Can't touch this. Ba -na -na -na. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna run up and, uh. Oh shit, I didn't have any weapons out, so I just have the one. Uh, attack with my short sword. You can pull out another weapon too, as part of your action. Uh. DM, I could potentially pull out two this turn. But, alright, so I'm gonna tag him with the short sword. So you already had the short sword out, right? No, no, I had no weapons. Oh, okay, okay. Fifteen damage. So then, bonus action, uh, attack him with the masterwork dagger. Which is then plus one, so three. Oh, but it's plus one because of the masterwork dagger. It does plus one damage. I didn't add that down. Yeah. So he's not dead? Okay. I'm just gonna be like, uh,. Men are, we don't have to do this.
So hit hit me for how much? A twenty how much? Ouch. Okay. Ouch. All right. I will come up and take a swing at the an elf, I guess. Oh, well, that's terrific. That would be it. Alright. Da, 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 da. So, I walk in, and I'll shoot this guy, the one. Yeah. Can I click on it? Okay. Um, that's fine, because I've got my little, uh, Arcing arrow, so if it doesn't miss, I'll just use that. So, I don't want him taking it. Well, how bloody is the guy uh, to, to the north of me? That fellow there. Is he? Oh, okay. Then yeah, definitely, don't... I'll shoot the, uh, shoot the cobalt then. That makes life... Not cobalt, the dragonborn. My whole... You know what I mean. With disadvantage, yes? Great rolls. 17. Still hits. Pew! For 9 piercing. Yes, it is. All right. So we've got one guy left over here and dragon board. All right. Nice. Okay. Uh, tell that dragon board that it must have taken a lot of makeup to look that pretty. Except I know he was born that way, so maybe he can join a theater troupe and uh, be the freak show. Viciously mock his ass. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to pull out my um, sling just so that I don't have to get ready for it next time. And then um, I'm going to just back up five feet so that I'm out of sight again. Go back in here. Oh, let's get a little greedy. We'll move into the room and we're gonna fire our crossbow at the dragonborn. Yeah. Why is that disadvantage? I just want to make sure I wasn't like shooting through somebody's face or something. Well, it's because he's a badass. 
because of it. That's why I will. That makes 30 feet. Hold on. He will shoot at the uh, Dragonborn. And Olavian. turn. So how injured is the Dragonborn? Okay, yeah. So for my bonus action, I will use Second Wind to heal myself. So how much did I heal me by? Oh, that's weak. <laughs> okay. And I am going to use my Mark of Destiny to make sure I'm going to hit this lizard. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mark a destination okay. to the DM. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> advantage, and I hit that thing, and then I see for damage. Uh, advantage to hit. So, so fourteen. Wait. Uh, cancel how... it to cancel the disadvantage. Oh, okay. So, oh, I thought I had a va advantage. So. Yeah, but you already had disadvantage. Gives you. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. So he the live still. Okay. And I end my turn. So I noticed him do some magic shit. I feel compelled to uh, to not murder him. On the dragonborn set, not the elf set. But that sucks for the elf. All right, I'm gonna give it to him. Take it. Nice. Does the spell disappear on the dragon board? And then I'm gonna 
I'll walk up, up to him and not attack him with my bonus action. But I'm just gonna say, you know, if you just put down your weapons now, I'm sure we can talk about this. You don't have to die. Alright, that's my turn. Yes! <laughs> yes! I wouldn't use the term might, bud. You know, guys, I was surprised the first time it happened. I'm not surprised anymore. We definitely need to get some of these. We need, we need to, Mr. Alchemist, can, can you invent something like that if you, if you mix mimic blood with a, a bolt of lightning? Or some of the gems One that we damage. have in our... Can I roll an alchemy check? <laughs> Those Ooh, gems. What they're asking me to do. Turn down for what? Do, 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 do. Oh, cool. I uh, I uh, check the body for any useful useful items. Okay, uh, I'm going to take one for my own personal use. So like when he goes to touch it, I'm gonna be like, Artorius, I don't think you should be touching that. Uh, I can just clean the weapon and use it later. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. I'm probably going to take the holy symbol as a trophy, yeah, and aside. What what are they dressed in? Like robes? Chainmail. Yeah. So if we were going to disguise ourselves as them. Wait, are you talking about looking like these freaks? Sure, why not? My ears are halfway there. Yeah. I'm going to roll investigation to see if I can determine the why of that. like to as well. Just a 14. Hmm. Okay. If it's a uh, hey, dwarf, is there anything about it that yes. I can... Yeah, there you go. Okay, never mind. Do you rank? Oh. oh relax, sir. What, what about the stone? Did, did he know anything? I didn't see him roll.
Uh, it should be with advantage as a dwarf, anything on stone. Oh, okay. So, did you say history? Double your bonus. Uh, well, this will be plus two then, so 19. Any indication of where that could be triggered? Okay. Armando, you got any magic words to make the floor move? Uh, unless you want Armando to shoot it um, with a lightning bolt, uh, there's not much Armando can do. I can try. Uh, I can push it with a with a with a gust of wind with my mighty billowing lungs. But that's not how you open the last door. Then Armando cannot help. Black to red, you must go back. back. Red to black, come on back. Red to green. It says the gold and silver for the greedy. Uh, I noticed there's a discoloration of the stone heel. Is there anything off uh, heel? That's the stuff that looks like it, the floor might move if we found the right switch. Mm. Oh, Relaxor, if you were a dwarf, or, you know, a dragon or whatever, I mean, where would you put a switch to move a floor? Uh, not in this room, that's all I know. Alright, that, that seems promising. But the southern door seems like the next next most logical place to explore. Yeah. Well. It's, it's similar to which? Oh, okay. Rip. I got eagle eyes, baby. That's the best you've got for perception. Guys, guys, careful. Uh, I think this room is trapped. I... No. Hmm? I think he's talking about right there. Uh, yeah, where, we, where? We, we, no, he moved there. He, he fucking did it. 
Set it off. No, dude, that's new. No. Are we supposed to be able to I stop him before wait, he does something wait, crazy? So, like, you so, saw him starting so to walk that way and you grabbed him. Pressure plate is where I am? No, it's uh, I said don't here. move and you moved. So make it happen. Do it. No. No balls. Yeah. You know why they call me Tommy the Cat? <clears throat> now, when I say don't move, what is the first <laughs> thing that you're supposed to do? <laughs> this is a lesson for everyone. Sorry. What do you do? I don't move, but it is interesting. Yes. No, 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 you don't explain why you don't move. You don't move. <laughs> you hear the words, don't move, and you think, I won't move, all right? So, what happens to him? Is he good? Okay. Twenty. Yeah, he did. It was meant to be. Oh, yes. Can I can I nominate both of them? You for being a jackass and walking when he says don't move, and you for that nice little speech. Of, What's the first thing you do when I say don't move? <laughs> yes, Atari's cockiness is going to get him himself killed. So one then. Okay. Wait, stumbling or tumbling? They're important. Is this a smooth descent or is it a rough descent? Stumble, okay. Alright, and after that happens, I'm sure we're all shocked about the fact that uh, one of us almost instantly died. Alright, I hope this is a lesson to everyone. And I, I look at in each person individually. Let's not move when someone says don't move. <laughs> Alright, we're all in agreement. That's fantastic. Now, Artorius? Yeah. Since this log is here because of you, would you like to do the honors of moving the log? Uh, sure, why not? I think the answer to why not would be because there's another log coming down. <laughs> <laughs> but, as unlikely as that probably is, you're safe to move it, I'm sure. Okay, are you sure it's safe? What could possibly go wrong? Are you sure it's safe to move? Again, what are the odds that a second log comes down. 100%. I, no, yeah, honestly, I'm asking for the odds. I don't really know. Um, I would say probably. Alright, I, I, I'm gonna, after we're doing this, I'm gonna actually try and peek up into the hole that has been created in the ceiling. And maybe investigate or perceive things. Yeah, I'm gonna do that too. Well, I did. I have... No, no, I'm just looking up. Just looking I mean, up, if I, yeah. if it's dark in there, which I'm sure it is, I can't see shit. Right, what are we... Wait, what are we looking for? So, um, Tommy, what are we looking for? Well, whatever I'm, I'm looking, looking for, I'm looking I don't see it. In the hole where the log fell from, to see if... All right, Artorius, Dwarf, can you can you move this log so we can uh, go to the door that people don't want us to go to? Uh, I agree. So, do I have a vantage on lifting this? If Relaxor wants to help. Okay, so lift the. Uh, 
Ah. Cool. So... And now oh. that all that is moved, I'm going to very cautiously move to the door by looking at my feet, not anywhere else. Yeah, we could really use some magic words. Open sesame. Abracadabra. Liar, 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 pants on fire. Nothing! <laughs> <laughs> Quick, rest them. So they're dead, dead. None of them are just dead enough to be brought back to life. No, no, we murdered them. Yeah. yeah, that's... None of them are mostly dead. What are the doors uh, made of? Should we... Uh, wait, wait! Don't we have? Uh, don't any of us have asked? Uh, asked? Uh, acid on us? I kind of thought you were gonna say bath salt. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Maybe, maybe, maybe if we pour some mimic blood on it, it will turn into a chest and we can get past it. Hey, uh, Relixor, I know you're good with stone, but what do you think about a metal door that uh, seemingly can't be moved? I think it can't be moved. That's uh, that's good semen right there. I like it. <laughs> All right, well, Dor Dorvin wisdom. Where's that? Does it look like it can't be moved? Can't be moved. All right. Can we take a? Can we come up and take a listen and see if there's anything on? We hear anything? I mean, is it? Is, well, is it, oh, so is it? It's closed. Closed. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I think we need some uh, burly strength. Okay. Anyone? Anyone want to volunteer? Oh, yep. All right. Look, we got a volunteer. Okay. So we have the log, right? And the oh, yeah. door. So yes, of course before. Before we use the log, I need to make sure that the other side of the room is cleared, or that nothing bad may happen. Won't know it's clear till we open it. Okay, so let's check for any sounds on our side first. Yeah, we already checked, man. Just open it. Okay. Anyone else actually, want to help? Anyone actually, else uh, want to help me? I have healing spirits. Come back. Hey, hey, Cobal, don't you got some sort of healing things on you? Can maybe help help out our our big uh, burly friend. Hmm. Gems, don't you got like berries or that are that are good? Why don't you? Why don't you give some of those berries to the big man? Why don't you give all of them? Mm. Oh, yeah. I, I want to intimidate him to to give over his berries to the big man. I would like to have at least some of them so I can feel better. I am standing, but I'm just thinking if I take another hit from the coaches again, I'm not going to be standing that much longer. So what do you say, Cabal? You going to help the team? Okay, so how much did it heal? Done. Okay, cool. I say thank you for for, for that. I will put for you to good use. Being revivified with a with the burst of energy. So is Rexlor helping me break the door down? Yes. Okay, so let's strongman the door open. Hey, David. Well, Strong Manning, you okay with us giving Tommy the a mark of destiny? Okay. Cool. 
cool. Okay, so break the door down. Uh, yeah, break it. No, you push it open. Oh. You don't break door, door breaks you. <laughs> door break you! In, in Cobalt Dungeon, door break you! What's... What's your do cobalt tag elections? What's your stre what's your intelligence again? Uh, twelve. Oh, okay. <laughs> he can read. <laughs> yeah, he's the intelligence to know when something is going to kill him. He's not he's not stone intelligent. No, he's uh, above your average commoner intelligence. Okay, so okay, so here the torch to light you up, and then I think the lantern light should be running out soon. Why would it be running out soon? Oh, I'm using the lamp on me to light to light my way. Yeah, besides for the light on Tommy, I have a light cantrip, and the lamp is on me, so it lightened the area up. Uh, what about in this area? Okay, mm, Tommy. Tommy, the, I know it's a marker. Stop at the door here. Which way do you want to proceed? Me? Fuck, I don't care. You figure it out. What's, what's, okay, so what's this green line here? All right, so I'm gonna uh, I'll, I'm gonna stop everybody and say, did everybody else hear that voice? Uh, yeah. What voice? I have no idea what you're talking about, dwarf. In front of the back. No. I Armando heard, heard nothing. I heard a voice that said, "You found me, and come down, come down, oh. come here." Hey, man, if you want to go down, that's on you. Armando would, 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 would advise against you. But fuck, what do we know? Just do it! Do what is the creepy a, voice told you. Is it a voice you recognized? Uh, not that, no, not that I'm aware of. Uh, uh, who wants to go and talk to the skeleton? It's not like it's going to hurt us. <laughs> I don't know if skeletons are necessarily for talking. I'm sure Arendel would love to talk to a skeleton. Mm. Can I roll history to see if I know the house? I am not, but I am knowledgeable on history. Mm. 
Uh, that would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Uh, for for undead uh, knowledge rules, is it religion like or that. nature? Brought into a dungeon to be raped. Wait, what? I'm sorry, phrasing. All right, so I'll relay that uh, information to the uh, party. All right, so. I take it I don't I didn't see anything but the perception of seven that looks bad. Now the green is it is it high or low? Okay, so red to green high is fine, but low you're not alone. So the green means we're not alone. Okay then. Like just makes me want to throw up. Ugh. Tommy, it smells like poor people down here. What a horrible stench you found. Alexa, what did you eat? Do you have a name for it? This uh, smell, it smells like one day, one day back. Oh. It's bad. Mm. Somebody clearly down here forgot to wipe, and then I think they died. It, does anybody finer nose than me? I mean, I don't want to say it smells like anybody's dad or anything. Oh, it's bad. I'll walk up. <laughs> uh, Armando, uh, comment? <laughs> Armando doesn't even acknowledge that. Armando knows it smells like poor people down here, and Armando is saying it smells like poor people down here, and we know who's poor. <laughs> hey, are you calling me poor? Poor me. I agree. At least I got a new weapon out, out, out of this uh, sewer. I hope it's worth it. All right. Yeah. So, are we going down or what? Mm. Now the voice keeps talking to me, telling me to. Yeah, let's thing. listen to the voice. Can you ask him who he is or anything? <laughs> no. I haven't tried that yet. Let me try that. I guess I'll just think it, yeah. I thought it was maybe whispering something to you. Armando, you, do you do you want to bring up the rear? Because it seems like you want to. Armando always brings up the rear. Yes. So the rumors are true. <laughs> Armando, I question you and your dad's relationship. All right, so <laughs> and, then, and then I leave them and move forward. Not uh, getting any uh, internal answer. I'll say I'll say out loud. Oh wait a minute, maybe I'm getting an answer. Okay, Armando. So I. Uh, so, how fantastic is your dad looking now, since we got him some new clothes? He is sharp enough to pop a balloon. <laughs> nice to know. a balloon? It is 
It's a, it's a rubber contraption. You can make anything up of rubber. Is that a rich person thing? It is. <laughs> I would like to see a balloon once. You know, Cap, it's one of those things you put on your... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> make, we make balloons out of sheepskin. <laughs> you know, when you're bringing up the rear. I feel slightly I... offended, but I don't know of what. <laughs> All right, guys. So the voice, the time voice time. is telling me that its name is Lou, Lou Boppy. That's my best interpretation. Um, and this is my room. Uh, asking us why we're here. I said we're hunting were rats, and it, and the voice said the rats find me. Yeah, the rats find a lot of things. This guy's probably not very affluent. It does smell like this. I can imagine that. Wait, what's it smell like? Uh, like something rats would find. Like they would, something they'd find attractive or just find? I, you know... I think you should go look. <laughs> with your eyes. You know, look at it with your eyes. I can't see anything looking down. Go yeah, on, that's why you gotta go down there. You wanna give me a torch with the, for my mage hand? Hmm. I have, you You have a torch, right? I do not have, a, well, let's see, do we have a... Uh, I have an extra torch on me. This is my mage hand, one, two, three. This is as far as it goes. Oh, okay. Doesn't hey, reach relax, the corner. So... Hey, relax, so if you're oh. going to go down there to go talk to that person that's talking to you that we can't hear, can you leave the stuff? You know, the stuff that, that's cool that we want if you die? You know, loot. They call it loot. Could you, could you just put it on the ground and then... Then go. Wait, uh, relax, or is there a reason that only you are hearing this voice? I'm guessing it's because I was the first one in the room. Okay, I don't know if you had eaten something or you had yeah, touched yeah. something that we had not touched yet. Or you're you a sure, dwarf, or you sure it's not your dwarf. god? Doesn't your god speak to you? All right, so uh, well, here's what I'm thinking. Why don't um, why don't you tie a rope around me, and, and in case I start uh, acting strange or Kind of zone out or something you guys can pull me back up that sounds good some of us can pull you back up the the manly ones i'll pull your rope <laughs> no, no I'm, I'm kidding i'm not going to i'm sorry <laughs> not strong enough yeah so I have a rope, so I bring out my rope and uh, hand it to Artorias. Why don't, you, why don't you hold the rope and tie it around him? Agreed. And I give you a pretty secure knot. That, <laughs> he thinks that... it's secure. Okay, so... Survival, I... don't you think? Eh, uh, nature. Survival. No, survival makes more sense. Survival? Okay. Mm. Uh, did you take into consideration my character finding mining footage? So, mm, that's... No. Uh, who is proficiency? Huh? Okay. So it's not that much better. Yes, that's a good nod. Eh. Yeah, I tie it well enough from my experience working in the mines. Well, uh, how about if I take a look at it and see if I could do a better job? Wisdom's okay. kind of my thing. Agreed. Yeah, he ties it around you and then you look like, mm, that's not very good. Just tie it yourself. Correct.
He got right. his not tying badge in the Dwarf Scouts. <laughs> so with that in place, I'll take a step onto the top stair. All right, so I'll move down. Wait, who, who's holding the rope? Uh, Atarius. Jesus. Yes. Well, that's not ideal. Okay, roll on initiative. Ball. Do we get a chance to pull him back first? <laughs> so we do, that so do we need to still roll the... initiative or just. Jesus. You you do have my macro rolling a twenty sided die for initiative, right? Because <laughs> I haven't seen anything higher than a nine. Hey, guess who rolled a natural one? Okay, no. okay, I got a natural. Got a, I get to go first. Well, unless the cube could go first. That's true. It's true. If if it could be the rank two. Okay, Same first nine. thing first. Uh, would it be a standard action to get Rex or uh, get him out of harm's way? Yes, just pull him. Okay, so do I have a vantage to, or no advantage? I don't think anyone else said that they were helping. Uh, I, well, I'm standing there. I would be helping, except I'm sort of really slow. So if it takes so, more than one turn, then. So, so I so I don't have advantage to put to no, regular fault. Okay. Heave. Heave. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then movement. Uh, I can't. I, I guess I move. Up. Like, okay, I guess m movement. I move up and have my bow ready. Yeah. Hold on to the rope so that somebody else can. Yep, I have my bow and rope ready. Hmm. So I tried using. Uh, so that. wait, so are we pulling with before initiative? Yep. Oh, in that case, I'm standing right there. I'm totally helping. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to to roll wait. roll it roll it again. Okay. Okay, so... I mean, don't you think, considering I was standing right there at the stairs with them, and... Okay. So, roll again. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, Rex, Rexor, you're, you're not going to die. Darius is here. <coughs> yeah, I come to save the day. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, so I get to make a standard and move action so, for my turn. Well, so now, now are we in initiative. Okay. So I, I guess I have my bow out uh, and fire at the cube. Yes. Yeah. With a bow. Okay, that's hits. Okay, so five piercing damage. So I end my turn and you see Atorius get the dwarf in out of harm rate right, and fire a bow. Let's kill this cube quickly. And 
I imagine Cabal is going to again oh, uh, say under his breath about how upset he is about uh, everyone being in the way. He's gonna stand up on the table and hold his action until he can actually shoot at something. Okay. Since you can fire through allies in 5e, you might as well shoot. Uh, but with disadvantage, and then if he misses, then he hits you guys. It's, it's not Pathfinder, there's no disadvantage. Well, nonetheless, Cobal's not going to. I would, but... I know you would. Because, uh... Let's move. Fire! Yup. Um... Might as well use a bomb, I suppose. <laughs> I was thinking more just uh, some of the alchemist fire. What do I know? Uh, you are not the mad scientist. You don't know anything. This is you true. don't know his life. All right, I will send a firebolt its way. Four times my last damage. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, um, after I, after I do that, I'm going to step back here. Would that be knowledge arcana or nature to know if electricity is like super damaging to a gelatinous cube? Alright, I want to see if I should focus some electricity attacks. Okay, so I'll just go with my regular to do, shoot him, I'll probably hit, if not, do the thing. <laughs> Seven piercing. And that'll be all. So, so how much, uh, so these stairs, how deep does it go? Oh, Jesus. Totally. Cube slapped. I hate being cube slapped. It really Just pisses me off. Yeah. Um. All right. Just like, what the fuck? I pull out my sword. I don't care whether it's gonna work or not, and I slash at it two-handed. Ugh. Get it or not? 
All right, so then use the right hand number, which is the die 10, so that's a 12. And then I get the fuck out of the way. Oh, hold on. Let's say, uh, Do, 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 do. Yeah, I know. Um, no rest, no glory. No, I'm gonna move sideways though. I'm I'm still in range, right? All right, so that somebody else can step up and step up into the killing blob. Yes. Yes, to the jello mold. Uh. Uh, can Tommy standing up on the table see the gelatinous uh, ball of death? And it looks dangerous, doesn't it? I don't more. know if I like this or the mimic more, and I'm gonna throw two daggers at it. The garbage daggers, yep. The nice ones. And there's someone within five feet. Yeah. Uh, there's me directly five feet. Yup. Mm. Oh, guys. I mean, once we kill it, it just like drops into like a pool of goo, right? We can go back and get our stuff. Yeah. yeah. I I'm nice if it's a yeah. Very specific type of ghouls, and that's different. Oh, and does uh, does Cabal get a better shot now that Blixa moved out of the way? Okay. Uh, right. Is it uh, possible for me for my move action to switch weapons? Okay, I get my drop my bow as a free action, get my side out, and begin slashing into this goo. The oh, side. Yeah. Desai. Yeah, Desai. I got it from the, uh, from the cultist. From the cultist, right? So, 12 damage. Did you, Did you stop you... to see if, like, the bone side was cursed or anything? Nope. Just take... We're risking it. Nope. nope. I'm risking I it. it. I hope it eats your soul. <laughs> so... Last time somebody in our Pathfinder group did that, they got to death. So, it's not Pathfinder. So, as I use it, do I feel any curses, or is it just a normal weapon? Jesus. David, oh, did you, did it, you didn't hear Donald Jones in for a death side before. For like an hour. <laughs> like an hour. <laughs> like, how was your day? I'm getting a death side. Yeah, yeah. Well, you I am regretting it now. <laughs> Now is talking about David is the man. He he listens to us. He knows. Sees me naked and you know, all that. <laughs> he's such a good listener. Uh, he's just gonna attack with his longbow. Uh, I guess. How does the the cube look to Cabal? Does it look damaged? He probably wants to participate in the flashing of goo parts. There you go. So, 14. 12? Uh, the second one's max, though. So, two more. 14. Oh. Cool. The goo. Uh, well, nice shot, friend. So, as I get my as much goo stuff as he can into vials and into his alchemical ingredients. Yeah. 
Uh, the so what are the side effects I feel dealing with five? All right, so relax. So remember how we talked about going down uh, the stairs to you know find your your buddy that can only talk to you. Why don't you do that again? Oh, don't make me feel bad about it, goddammit. <laughs> okay, had a wife and family. kids and a family. <laughs> Wait, it was working its way through medical school. Of, we killed a aquatic creature, cobalt, <laughs> and we were feeling bad, then we killed a Tangent Cube. Well, at least this time it attacked us first. Yeah. Is a healing potion, I'll take it. Just trying to give us a hug. Aww. Bag must be Tommy. If only I have a pickup truck. <laughs> I'm gonna. Are they magic fuzzy balls or natural fuzzy balls? I'm gonna try to figure that out with an Arcana check. Okay. Ooh, I'll, I, I, yeah, let's let's yeah. examine. No, let's can, let's I, all gather around in a circle and examine the magic yes, fuzzy yes. balls. I, I can identify them if you want. If we have some uh, time. I'll stand outside the circle. Yeah, I could identify them too if I take my pants off. Oh, Jesus. That was a joke. So how long does it take for Blixit to identify stuff? Ten minutes. Hey guys, you want to take a, a short rest? Ten minute you know? I mean, I don't really care. I'm just saying if you guys want to. I could use a short rest. Sure. Um, because I have six hit points. And oh, you're fine. Short rest. I can do a song of rest also. Who's hurting? Only damage I mean, I've taken so far this entire dungeon has been from Artorius. But <laughs> otherwise, I'm fine. How uh, did that happen? Uh, if we do a short rest. Shot me! Uh, if we do a short rest, I get to get my second win back. Nice. But, like, do you mean physically hurting or mentally hurting? Uh, mentally. <laughs> I say we'll wait until Blix identifies everything and we know yeah. what it Let's uh, put let put that all into the party loot, but I get a slide still. Hey Relax Star, do you recognize this emblem? Is this like uh, your family? You know, because all dwarves are related. Just minor dwarven house, right? Oh, so you guys probably are related. <laughs> he just, all... He's just trying to get a rise right now. We are all children of oh, the gods. Oh, Except like for multiple. maybe you. <laughs> hey, spawns so are still children. Identifying things. Alright, so what? Relaxor gets the hammer. The Blix, so you took the. I haven't taken anything. The insignia? Yeah, that would be nice. that's what oh, I was all right. do. Uh, do we want to take a short rest while we're at it? I mean, who, who well. needs it? Well, because if I take, we can do a short rest, I could do song of healing once every long rest, which gives everybody uh, extra die six. If we do a short rest, I could try to throw together a, a potion of healing. That works, and I can uh, re-inspire everybody and give everybody uh, new tip hit points. Wait, not a long rest. We're just taking a I short just, rest. Yeah, no, I, I can do it every uh, long or short rest. Oh, right. oh, okay. oh, okay. So after a short rest, I get my action search and take a win back. Yep. That is a god, correct? What do we have to do?
Okay, I'm gonna roll the alchemy check to make a potion of healing. Pretty easy, doesn't it? I had read it as once a short rest. Fucking kill that's me. your swift alchemy, right? Doesn't it go in an hour? Yeah, I think that's correct. Hang on, let me whip the book out. There's we, handbook. What do we do with it, dice? Do we roll? We just roll them? Or do mm -hmm. we take out? Okay. Yeah, so how much does the short rest heal? Okay, yeah, so... 200 hours, you got it. So again, how much gold does it cost to put a potion of healing together? 25. Permission to take that 25 gold from party loot. Uh, granted. That's uh, good. That's up to the person that's holding it. No, I'm good. Because he's the, like, gatekeeper doesn't mean it's not partially ours. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to me, his opinion is the only one that matters, is the gatekeeper. Okay. So we can <laughs> shoot him and take it. <laughs> The rest of us say cool. Um, what are my choices again? I'm not going to attune to them in case they're cursed. Yes. Well, uh, <laughs> whether I attune to it or identify it. I don't think he wants to attune to anything because he's afraid it might be cursed. So he wants to do all I'll identify, just, right? I'll just identify him. Okay, so well, tell me what your I got you. So tell me what the choices are again. Okay. All right, I'll try the um. The hammer do the first. fuzzy balls. No, do yes. the ha hammer. What fuzzy balls? Okay, we'll do the fuzzy, fuzzy balls first. Tribbles, call on it. Okay. Oh god, okay. Uh, how about the how about the hammer first? So I was gonna go for Uh oh. Alright. So identify the hammer. Oh nice. The voice right under the mountain. Yay! Requires a tune up by a dwarf. Do we have any dwarfs around here? Uh I'm a dwarf. We, we have a lot of humanoids. Look. Yeah, just because you have a short pecker doesn't make you a dwarf. How about we give it to the dwarf? That was more savage than anything I've said. <laughs> I'm a bard. The most like vicious of mockery. <laughs> my, character, uh, my character, he is from the countryside, so he... I vote we give no, it he, to he doesn't get everything. Calm your happy ass down. Give it to the dwarf and move on. You got a side. But he doesn't have a weapon on him. How will he do bludgeoning damage? The Swiss Army fighter needs it. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm right, fine so for I'm fine for weapons. Give the, the a hammer to the dwarf. So far? Am I the only one that can see this so far? Or can everybody? No, I can see it. It looks uh, badass. What's the rune on there? The voice heard under the mountain. You have a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this weapon. Feature of this weapon that take an additional one by six thunder. Yeah, that definitely uh, would make me a better melee fighter. Yes, I think this goes to the dwarf. Requires attunement by dwarf. Yeah, that's a smart well, decision. Good on ya. That really does uh, reduce the decision making. Melee, it does. Survey says. <laughs> Ding! Yeah. 
the tremor sets. Be nice. So you can start attuning to this if you want while we're... Yeah, it takes an hour or two hours, right? Cool. Okay. What color? Ooh. Carry up the wound closure too. Nice. So All right. So that periaptic wound closure Okay. Hey, David, did you see my whisper to you earlier? Hmm. Oh, it's way back. Oh, okay. I was asking about um, dipping into Sorcerer when we level up. Okay. Yeah, I, I updated my my history because I'd thought about it, but I didn't put anything in because of your initial thing of like, um, you know, don't get too far in because you might die. And so then after the initial session, I didn't. So I added a couple of things in where that might make sense or whatever. So, all right, I'll be back in eight or whatever. Hey, Donald, you still there? Uh, yeah. D did you actually roll hit dice or did you just give yourself a low? Uh, I rolled uh, the hit dice plus the hit point gain from the song. Oh yeah, I just asked because I didn't see it in the the chat. Uh, yeah, I, I did. Uh, it was to the GM. Uh. So yeah, got a... Uh... The crit range on a rapier is just 20 in 5th? Correct. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Missing that 15 to 20. Yes. Oh, that was for the uh, a song, a for the healing bonus. You only get the you only get the one d six if you use a hit dice. Oh. Okay, so then it would have been. Let's see, would have been. Yes, so yeah, so I'm still good for hit points, so at 17. So the slide, so what happens? Yep. All right, you ain't gotta ask, you just gotta wait for it to happen. <laughs> your soul to be sucked from your body. So, or, you know, something else. So the mask. The weapon definitely death call feel, so I can think what it, a what the side effect could be. Could be, but that's not what it is. You don't know. Huh? Wait, why does it say zero thunder? We want lots of thunder damage. More. <laughs> I'm jacking it. Just, just calm. Everybody, be calm. Guy a day.
Hey Tom, did you get it all figured out? I think so. I'll have uh, David check it out when he gets back just to make sure, but it, it looks right to me. How, con how convenient is that since you uh, don't have any spell slots? Yeah. We can always have uh, Firebolt, but this is a little bit better than Firebolt. Cool. So we have a hammer for the dwarf. Flare and, checks out. And then let's see. There's two items not taken notice yet. So at least one of them you're coming up with the item does. Okay. Rip. Mm. But he's not aware of that. True. And my character does switch in between weapon uses, so he may or may not be aware of it. David, did you uh, check out my second roll there with the, the voice into the mountain just to make sure I have it set up correctly? That, based on what I read, that's my understanding. So, if you. And the yeah. thunder is 1d6. And when I took it out, it was coming up zero, so I wasn't sure what it was missing there. Hmm. Uh, 13. Hmm. It is relatively easy to get the removed curse spell, uh, uh, be put on me. What? I won't worry about it. Just go with it. Okay. Mm. Or, or at least let's deal with one thing at a time. Uh, Artorius, you're not at max health. Did you use all your hit dice? Oh, wait. Oh, I see. I Oh, yeah, I didn't use the one hit die. So, yeah, would be at point four max hit points. Baby, look at that max. Never to get a crit ever again. I was gonna say, David, you can roll for me every time. Yeah, we're ready. Yep, I'm back. Did anyone uh, take that periaptive wound closure? I have it on here, but I didn't hear if someone took it. I don't nope, don't know what it is. I'll let the door shut so, it. Probably, well, I'm taking everything. I think every uh, frontline fighter should probably take it. Uh, Tom, he cannot re revive himself, so no.
I don't know, if Van was in the chat, you could just give it to him. He's still not in Discord yet. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, the only areas we haven't explored yet is the one area to the far left here and everything to the south and east here. Is that correct? Yeah. Mm. As far as I've seen, um, these these things are doors too, or no? Okay. So we've got the there. There's a. Okay. So we heard a voice. Tapped us. We have two new items: the bag of tricks and the preoptive wound closure. Um. I missed the bag of tricks. What does that do? Bag of tricks is that, that's the bag of fuzzy balls that if you throw them out, they uh, uh, turn into animals. Alright. Yeah. But they also can be used to give you advantage. How long do they last for? Is all this stuff A like day. in the loot bag? There, there's a link to it if you go to the sli the slime cube loot. There's a link to it. It lasts for a okay. day. Okay, I'll look at there. Okay. Yeah, and we got the tan one. Hmm. So let's. Before we go any further, do we want it? Does anybody want the periaptic wound closure? Because otherwise, I'll take it. Because I, I mean, I keep getting killed and or not killed, but. I don't have the most hit points or AC. You right. got it. Uh, so everybody give yourselves uh, five temporary HP, because I told us all an awesome story. All right, Thank so you. the periapt went to Blixa, is that right? Again, guys, yeah. if, we could just, if we could do one thing at a time, it would be yes, fantastic. That's, Sorry. I'm trying to focus on that. Yep, yeah, so mm. periapt and then the bag of tricks to somebody. Bag of tricks is actually good for you, Tommy, because you can have them come in and do the help action, which will then give you surprise. That would make a lot of sense. I'll take it if you're offering it. Is that alright for all everybody? Right. Yep, it's mine. Works for me. Okay, Relaxor, we should go find where that voice came from. I'm sure it's still down this hallway. I'm pretty sure it came from the cube. Wait, cubes can talk? The last thing it said to me was that uh, it was going to add me to its collection. Oh. <laughs> I didn't hear that part. Oh, oh. Yeah, you didn't well, hear any of it. Remember, this was an intelligent cube that had a wife and kids and was working its way through medical school. <laughs> and well, and... We should go find the wife and kids, huh? <laughs> wait, wait, does that mean dwarves are trash? Uh, you don't want to hear the voice under the mountain. Mm. <laughs> so we You're just kill right. a dungeon employee. <laughs> All right, so the guild is not going to be happy. All right, so let's. All right, so everybody gets five hit points. And we. All right. Okay. So we decided we're doing that, or are we going through those mm. little doors up in the main room first, folks? I mean, I'm already going. I want to go see what is, what is north, so the torch down here is lit still, so I have the light on me. Yeah, can, like... you, can you put a light on my dagger again? Be, be useful. Okay. And light is not concentration. You can put that on everything, right? Mm, yeah. So, so just give everybody a light in case some bullshit happens and we get split up. Okay, so yeah, everyone, you have a light. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna look around this corner. So, so let's see. Can everyone move the torch on you? No, we have to create it if we're gonna move it. Okay. Well, there's, and there's, yeah. So just give uh, everyone the uh, control for the torch. Everybody has control. You just need to take one. Yeah. Oh. 
All right, uh, David, I'm looking around the corner. Was it just stairs? Oh, going down, huh? Hey guys, we got some stairs going down. Are we gonna are we gonna go deeper? Where's where's our dwarf? Relax, or I'd rather check the doors up there actually, but okay. good the idea. Doors, doors up. The doors up that above. were around that the dining hall. Did we even look to see if there's anything of interest in the dining hall? I I thought we were gonna find his wife and kids. Uh, how how about we check the rest of the floor first, then we go down. All right, we're gonna have ass this part and go up. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Cool. What does everybody else say? Tom. Yeah, let's figure it out before we go any deeper. Hey, what a concept. Yeah, we are getting we are getting our thoughts to together. <laughs> All right. Well, see, the problem is with six people, everybody wants to do something different. So one person. No, the problem just... has been that everybody is doing something different, and then we're all kind of scattered all over the place. All right, so let's. Why don't we kill the party? Won't have any problems. Hmm. Why don't we just walk, go through each, check out each door. So how about right. how about the one in the north, then the one to the east, then work our way downwards? Right. So so David, just so we don't get wrapped up into too much, like you know, I don't want to say like spend an hour scouring through each room. Anything catch our eye here? Perception or something. Okay. okay. Alright. So All right. we have what? Four doors, so why don't we go clockwise around the room? Mm -hmm. Alright, Atorius, kick open that door. Okay. So the first one. So make sure. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I kick the door open like a boss. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Uh, let's see. Where my torch? Hey, Please so, take a look. So, uh, I'm going to let our... Let Tom check if there are any habits. Instead of listening, I just go look. Mm. Wow. Hey, Artorius, go, go kick open the other door. This one's pretty empty. Okay, so let me get my torch. So I kick the door open. Uh, do I see any traps? It's always, always good to ask after you kick the door. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. are in a cobalt layer after all. Right. Alright, David, what do I find in this room? Mm. And it's okay. unintelligible, I can't figure it out, so I don't care. Ch chests? Uh, I see chests as well. Are they locked? Alright, no chests. Uh, okay, Alright, these aren't chests. Hmm? Okay. All right. hey, do you guys see anything in that room? No. Um, I, I see some beds and some not chests. Alright, Artorius, kick open the other door. Okay. So I kick the door open. Mm, seeing no traps. Uh, it looked like a, a living room. Alright, so it's another not chest, right? Okay. So Tommy's gonna check this door real quick. Hey, at least it's a not mimic too. Right. Hey, what yeah. am I gonna check the door for? You're, as, as we're going around, you're making sure we're not stepping on any plates before things get kicked in. I right. certainly wasn't doing that before, but I'll do it now. Uh, thank check you. Check this door for trap. Wait, we have, uh, this is a great idea. We have a, uh, the lock from the other room. Want to use that to break the door? 
You want to try picking it first? So the gold and silver for the greedy will end in red. Does that mean there's gold and silver in there, or does that mean that by getting gold and silver, we will die? I'd probably, <laughs> probably say our greed will get us killed. How about this, guys? I, I touched the door, and it's a mimic, and it kills me. I'm going to touch the door. Look at my uh, hand. God, dude, where's, where's the wet paint time? Yeah. Hey, relax, sir. Come shake my hand. <laughs> Pull my finger. No. All right. No, I mean, I'm serious. Come on. You're a great guy. Come shake my hand. <laughs> Do you want to pick the lock? Do I want to pick the lock? No. Will I pick the lock? Sure. I want to try and pick the lock. I'm gonna pick the fuck out of that lock. Yeah. <laughs> Going up away from us. Uh, I'm gonna investigate the circular pattern that seems weird. My character no, uh, experience being a miner, would he know the material being a shot? Is it silver? Like a silver material? Hey, Relaxor, we got some weird stonework. You want to come look at it? Sure. You know, because you're like a dwarf that knows stone. <laughs> it's not racist, I swear. All right, see if uh, my dwarven uh, heritage helps me at all here. Do we need to put a rope around him again? Always. You it's, it's all. Did you say it's all. It's all silvery. Hmm. Would this be a arcana e thing? Well, well, after, to, to after this, yeah, well, after this, after stone dwarf takes a chance, or the uh, old dwarf. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I have, I have Arcana. I'm a, I'm a dwarf looking at stone. So, what would you like me to roll? Well, okay. So, how do I roll stone work? It, it's just the history plus two, or history double proficiency. Tool proficiency. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, so the room, the room that we're in, currently, the one that 
looks like it tilts. Does it does it tilt toward this hallway? Or does it look like it would tilt toward this hallway? Oh, okay. Okay. But the, but the dining room is flat. Right, but I thought we said that it looks like it would tilt. So, like, something would Or be triggered from in, somewhere else. Something would slide into the dining room, it looks like. Right, yeah. I was thinking the opposite way, but it looks like, yeah, something would come in. Okay. And the walls are all shiny? Does that include the far wall? Okay. All right, so I think it's a new game for the party. Let's see who can run to the end of the hall hmm. without okay. sliding back. You All think right. it's that simple? Wait, wait. Uh, how many? Are, so the walls side. What the what the material? Yes, a stone. Okay. So how many of us have uh, iron uh, pittance? I mean, Armando I can fly 30 feet. How deep is this thing? So, so don't we have like some sort of green potion Five. that, mm. you know, is like used for climbing? Yeah, I think we have a potion of climbing. Yeah, we do. So let's say that somebody were to drink the potion and that they could, you know, climb well. Could they then, you know, bring a, a rope? Like hold it, and like you know, put it into the wall. So say other people could then climb up after them. That is a wise, wise decision. You need to anchor it. Yeah, with you know, pittance. Perfect. That I have in my bag, and a oh. hammer. That I also have in my bag, and a rope. That I have. <laughs> uh, Dave. Uh, so what? Uh, what would? Climb be under us. Would it be acrobatics? Oh, athletics. Athletics. Okay, I am pretty athletic myself. I can climb because of your time as a miner. Yes, you know mining work and manage your guard work definitely get my abs and my muscles toned quite well. well do you have rope and pittance? Yeah, and a I, hammer. I do. Your bag. You have all three of those things. Yes. All right. Give him the potion. All right. well, does, does he need the potion? Fuck it, give him the potion. All right. Yes, the potion to make sure I succeed. So, uh, so it would be just a, so the potion. Do I have a vantage on the wall? Okay, so I climb the walls very spider-like and get the rope connect to the uh, spikes so we can climb up. Yes. I don't trust that floor. Are you going towards the door at the far end? At the uh, end? yes. Yes. So, over the circle. I don't trust circles. I picked up a weapon that I felt bad about. And we have encountered traps that could have had killed oh, us. Oh, hey, whatever happened to the death star? And the funny feeling. They're on the, they're on the list. No, yeah. no, 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 he was telling us there was a funny feeling when he used it, and he said he'd tell us later. Yeah. I mean, it's still not later yet. Oh, okay. So... so, so guys, there's a flaw in that plan that I just made up, where the rest of us still have to touch the floor. I... the rope is, is over the floor, so we can climb, so we have to just grab the rope and you grab shimmy? shimmy over. Wait, 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 it's suspended in midair? Yes. Yeah, oh, so, so, so you have to climb the rope and then shimmy your way across over the circle. Don't worry, I have the mark. Well, it, it's suspended on your end, but how is it suspended on our end to be taut? I would assume I would have made uh, you the iron spikes along the way to have the rope connected to so you can just shimmy your way over. Have a rope and heel and heel that you can climb down. I feel like this is going to get one of us killed. Hey, Arendelle. How many lives do you have left, Kat? What? Kat, not enough. <laughs> not enough for this. 
So, so Arendelle still can't hear us because he's crazy, right? No, he can hear us, but not. Uh, he can hear us, but just can't talk. All right. Well, why don't you go first? Do you have any dissent to that idea? No. All right. <laughs> one, one, two, three, not it. <laughs> I. Hey, go ball. We need you. Come up here. Oh, no, he's not doing it. All right. Okay, um, uh, Tommy. Uh, uh, right. How about you go? Hey, hey. Technically, Artorius was the front. He's just following up. Okay. J just I saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'm gonna stand over here. <laughs> so the doors. What material are they made out of? Okay, uh, I tell the party this. Uh, okay. Is there anything over? Nothing to the right. It's just the same kind of reinforced door. Okay. Are they locked? Let's say I ask um, Arturis. Are they locked? Uh, do they look? Do they appear locked? I mean, he's only standing next to one. Uh, so the one here is it locked? And the one to my right, locked. No. N no. C can I see if I'm here at least? Okay, so I climb the Unless rope. Unless it's open. Uh, okay, I climb the rope huh. and have a look at the door. Are two areas actually supposed to be holding the other end of the rope? Yeah, I thought I, thought I, I, uh, I, thought I, I thought I secured the rope. Okay. All right. I, I still feel like there's a flaw in this plan that I made up on the spot. Uh, I don't uh, step in the circle, Dale. I have bad feelings about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is there not a rope and over here that they can climb up? Climb up with? I mean, yeah. physics just don't. There has to be room for us to shimmy around it. It can't just be up against the wall. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So that's, we still have to touch yeah. the ground. So we still have to touch the ground. Okay. Mm. So how about uh, using the wall? Have so you looked for traps? Have you looked for traps, Tommy? I mean, I said it. I don't know if I actually did it. Mm. Hey, David, it. I'm going to look for traps. Yeah, like, you know, at the, the circle and, you know, any uh, holes in the walls or, I don't know, the ceiling. Yeah, On the side holes. of the walls, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh... Hey, hey, Ar Artorius. I'm thinking now that the person over where you are should be like going in the doors and like looking for things. Yeah. Do any of you want to accompany me? Um, is there any kind of water? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. dry. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking if. There's something behind the door. I would rather have someone to aid me. All right, Armando, you said you could fly? Yes, Armando can fly over, uh, but look out for lightning bolts as Armando flies to the sky. <laughs> yeah, I'll be looking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not... Uh-oh. Ay, Dios mío! No, no! Hey. <laughs> hey.
yeah. Okay, free. <laughs> one, 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 one. <laughs> I feel like this is a trap we could have set off and just not been in the way. So, so, uh, so Atorius used the rope, the, he shimmy hit right across the rope to the best ability over here. Uh, I would just, I would let go and slide back. Do it. Okay. okay. So, all of us? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Amando, why must you use your flashy fly? <laughs> fly power. Did you say white power? Uh, <laughs> Ar Armando power. does not have white power. <laughs> yeah. Armando has many white things. Power. White power does not work. <laughs> so, go ballot, go first. Hmm. Uh, sixteen for me and thirteen for John. Correct. Okay, it's a good thing that we have a have the light cantrip on. Yeah, no more flying. Yeah, so how much damage? Yeah, but how much? Sure. Okay, cool. Are they now covered in oil? <laughs> yes. Okay. Like the can you press oil. the digitate can you press the digitate this oil off of us? I mean, I imagine he's going to be somewhat you know, like, yeah, that's why I didn't want to go there and not do anything. I mean, he's not in the way. Go. No. <laughs> I bet you'll get a lot of alchemical supplies from their corpse. Is no. Uh, Amando, we should not use anything that will ignite this. I don't want to be a toasty human kebab. <laughs> All right, they want to press to digitate the oil off. Off of just one of them, both of them. Pick Armando. He's far more charming and keep you alive later on. The oven? I do like roast miner. <laughs> <laughs> do you know anything about that dwarf? Roast miner? The 
between. <laughs> A thousand thank yous, Armando appreciates it. Can you guys hear me now? Sweet. Okay, cool. For those that can see it anyway. Oh, Jesus. Carrying a uh -oh. catcher. Woo. Oh boy. Let's see. A door with dragon on it. That's me. Fifteen feet. Rip. So all of us? Well, not pretty boy and Swiss Army knife. Fifteen feet. Say what? So that's all of us. Anyway, what are we doing? Uh, including the one hit. Okay. Well, I mean, I was hit by the spear, so do the cow traps also affect me? Okay. I want to use He's my. Uh, wait, can I can I roll one more time using my uh, mark of destiny? Okay, so rather than doing an advantage, I'm just gonna roll again and take the highest. There we go. So we take the 15 anyway. Is that what I'm hearing? Okay. So we take 15. Whoa. Ouch. Uh, seven or eight for the people that take half. And don't forget seven. that you had uh, five temporary hit points. Which seven. literally kept me from going to one HP. Yep, so seven. Oh, Jesus. Bastard. I guess Sacred Flame is technically radiant. Um, but if he's already back in his room, there's no, there's no enemy, right?
Yeah, I, I'm out of ideas, so... Um, I'll just... I'll get out of the way for people who know have, have an idea. Okay, so let's see. Thinking, worrying about the situation, so is it for the 30 feet speed going to climb here and then try to jump? Uh, you uh, going to climb and then jump over here to get outside the radius. Well, you should just be able to climb. Okay, so yeah, but if you, have here, spider, or... if you have spider climb, you don't need to jump. So just... the <laughs> okay. So, so can I possibly? Do, do, I'm cling. I have a uh, cling to the wall. So can I jump? Uh, you just crawl over. Yeah. Okay. So so let's see. Yeah. So I'm going to climb uh, over here to get outside of the area. Uh, Armando, I uh, get get out of here. How is that area? I think it's going to up it. That area will go all up in flames, I think. And then, and then, yeah, it is. Yeah, so I move and I can't really get the oil off of me anytime soon and turn over. Yeah. No, I thought I can't. That's... Yep. No. Okay, so, um, Armando's, you, this is on a slide angle, right? So I can just slide on down? That's true. Uh, just, just, but you land in call drops. Oh, good, very good point. Very good point. Damn it, I don't want to use my other like spell. That's a good idea. Can I, How many can I push out of my way with Gust? And, I think I can push like five. It's like... Five pounds worth of stuff, I think the spell is. Let me let's see if and, I can. And, and are you going to shoot them at your compatriots? That's what I was I just going to say. You guys can move. If there's even, I'm can't. like, hey. Move this turn. I have to wait for you, and then I can maybe oh, shoot yeah. it out. Let the man have his flare. No, I mean, I don't want to fucking send shrapnel flying at you after you've already been hit with flying shrapnel. <laughs> Maybe that's what Armando wants. <laughs> All right. So Armando will hold his action for them to like sweep away some stuff, so I can go and gust the shit all out of my way. Is that like a plan for you guys? Deal. Okay. Well, the thing is, now it gives the trap a chance to do something. Right. Sheet! 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 No, it might be. Uh, barrels of shit. Not for you no more. Yeah, sure. Roll an alchemy. Grease as per the spell. Okay. Not flammable, so that's good. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> So is the spinning thing of death also filled with caltrops that are spinning around to make more death? That sounds safe. Yeah, it looks like Armando's dead. Uh... Well, if you push him out of the way, if... If you move, I'm holding my action for you to be like out the way so I can go ahead and push it with my gust and not send shrapnel flying at your faces. So, difficult terrain is half movement? 
I'm going to gingerly step out of the area and then hide. Hiding from the Caltrops? I mean, or whatever. You, you don't know if they're mimics. <laughs> Tiny pointy mimics. <laughs> Uh, everybody's out of the way, right? Not yeah. yet. Nope, not at all. Not yet. Wes, no. <laughs> okay. All right, so one more thing. Let me get my turn. So, all right, so I have a question. This table. Can I jump behind Can it? Can we flip it over it? Your <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> exactly what I was going to Like, so I can put it, like, right to draw. Right here in front of Cobal and Arendelle and me. That would be wonderful. Okay. So, yeah, I uh, get the table and I put it there. Um, and then I try and get the hell out of the way, at least on the side. <laughs> I don't know exactly where the table's going. How long is this table? One, two, three, four, twenty feet. So we have an hour. Um, we have, we an, have hour. an hour. We have an hour. We're, we're good. So I kind of hide behind it or whatever. Yes, I'm good. Now, now do it. What? Okay. <laughs> we all good? Okay. Wait, so what is it? So, so what is this line here for? That's the, the table that's to make table. sure that I don't throw shrapnel at your face. Yeah. Try and cover Arendelle, who cleaned up the pretty boy in the first place, and Cobalt, and Relax or Wait, wait, wait. Doesn't I'm that just scared. cause the shrapnel to be put into one small area that becomes harder to navigate? Trapping Armando on one side? Wouldn't well, it have been easier no. just to clear out the five-foot square of Caltrops? Well, except there's, it. it's not just a five-foot square. There's this stuff, too, spinning around. Well, in other words, if the square was clear, you wouldn't need to use gust. <laughs> she. <laughs> if I if I I'm, wait if I was holding my ready to action, can I use it and push him with gust and push him in the face? If you push him with crossbow bolt. Okay. Okay. So he does push the Keltraps before this happens, though, right? Just in case he dies. We will remember you, Armando. <laughs> remember me, comrades. But none in the circle of death. Well, how far does Gus go? I was hoping maybe it would just hit them all up against the table, maybe into it. Yes. <laughs> Sheet. I like Armando's battle cry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, damn it, what's that reaction spell that I have? Uh, absorb elements. So I take 
half of that, and my next attack does lightning plus one d six lightning damage. How much lightning damage did you say that was? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Jesus. She. <laughs> <laughs> and he's restrained, right? He's bullet. Okay, seeing this, uh, I, I I knew that turn that thing was bad. <laughs> uh, he probably is frustrated that he can't do anything, and I guess is uh, gonna try and uh, grab Armando's hand to pull him out. As he's spinning around, just trying to. Oh, I got you! Don't tear clear? my clothes. They're very is expensive. The, is the floor is the floor clear now? Yeah. Okay. Yep, j just this whole like square. <clears throat> the right way. He's too moved up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was... Uh, I'm trying to think of a joke <laughs> of a Hispanic... Uh, magnets in a washing machine, and I can't. Well, that's the joke. I don't think it needs to be another one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Zero. I mean, if it's just uh, athletics, it's just D20 plus zero. Is he, is he also <laughs> pulled into the vortex? Is he also Mexican? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she. Oh! Ah! The wet circle here. Oh, okay, so all of us. Everybody. It's everybody. Wait, I, I thought we're all outside of the the effect. No, oh, because it's twenty feet instead of fifteen. Rip. I'm sorry. Rip. Mm -hmm. Lucky for me, I have an antitoxin in my inventory. There is nothing. Arendelle does not. I doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Lickzell laughs at poison. Yeah.
drank a lot of strange shit in my time. Mm. So, how much damage? Too goddamn much. Is the smoke still there, or does it, like, dissipate? I see it. Mm, Armando? Uh, Cabal? Yeah, Armando rolling. I missed. Yeah, yeah. I did not roll for that. Sorry, I thought he didn't I was on the other that. side. I missed that. You said that was a what kind of save? Um, Let's see. Does anything worse happen to me because I rolled a crit fail? He's asking for it. Nice. Armando rolled a ten. I think he failed. Yeah, super fail. <laughs> super fail. Dude, I rolled a seven. Tell I me the cat super fail. Weird. We had I... a very kind GM, but that one didn't just. Okay. Can somebody ready in action okay. to like throw the bag of monkeys next time he pops out? I know, right? <laughs> Let me heal myself. Okay, how far on the floor does the poison cloud extend? Can you get a little, like, dummy bong? No, how far, like, like where must I stand to not be in it? You need to... I understand. So you're so, already like, poisoned. I continue, so, like, if I take an antitoxin right now, and I'm still in the cloud, will I just, like, get the poison save pending another save, like, after I take my antitoxin? That's what I'm asking. Uh, but once you save, are you saved, or do you have to? So if I just, as a standard action, take an antitox and I'm good. Is that right? Oh, oh, god damn. Okay. Uh, so, so drink and save. What does the poison condition do? So it's not going to kill me. So first things first, I'm going to uh, drink a potion of healing and get eight hit points back. Which I think is full, is it not? Yeah. And then we're going to... Okay, so the Caltrops I have, it's difficult to raise, so I'm moving at half speed. If I move, do I, like, risk impaling my foot or something? I'm not going to Uh. Okay, so I can move out of it and be just fine. Okay, so I'm going to move back here, and then... So that's actually... The traps are getting pretty wide radius, so I'm going to go right, right there. Right where to say. That'll be all. So I need to move one more to get out. There's good. Okay. That'll be all. Yeah. Um. Okay. 
Is there any chance, like, if, if I come down here, is there a chance to kind of try to pull these guys off as they come spinning by? Or are they going to have a chance to jump off, or... Okay. All right. Then in that case, I'm just going to back all the way up. And I'll just ready a firebolt. The next time that little bastard shows his face, I'm going to blast him. Can you see him from there? I can't see him. Well, then. Um, yeah, I just I don't see anything else I can do here. Okay. I'll just back up. Um, my turn with spark climb. I'm going to climb along the walls. The whoop, climb down here. While moving down there, I get my bow out and going to make a save uh, to try to be the DC. So, so let's see. Nope, poison still. Turn over. Really? Uh, I thought uh, I thought I was outside the. Well, oh, you gotta so... be back where Aaron Dollar and Aaron Dollar Oh, okay. So yeah, I would be within range uh, still. Oh, okay. So can so. Wait, wait, wait! I I thought it was twenty feet. Uh, so it was. Yeah, don't do that. Really? It's that, uh... Oh, okay. Okay, turn over. And also his mic is muted. Damn mute. Okay, <laughs> restrained. I can still cast spells, right? Okay, then I'll do my flying and get the hell out of there. And that will get me 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 17. Yep. Damn it. Um, can I use a move action to get that off? Okay. Disadvantage. I believe in you, Armando. <laughs> uh, Armando doesn't have any. No one gave Armando any inspiration. What? Yeah, yeah, we did. Oh. Your uh, your uh, Caltrop tornado. Oh, so I missed that. Okay, then yeah, uh, eighteen. To break free. Yeah. Hooray. Okay. Do I still take that uh, five electric damage? Sounds good. We got to get that elf out too. All right. So disadvantage. <laughs> Armando's okay. really sorry. <laughs> I wish 17. I could have saved you. Fine. Before me is glad I got out of the area when I did. Uh, so it's thick fog. I'm I'm just in the thick of it, 
and and poisoned. Dude. No, I critical failed, my bro. Yeah. Um, I'm critically poisoned. So, so it's heavily obscured, and there's caltrops on the ground. What is that? It's still half movement. Mm -hmm. Uh, do I kind of know the gist of where the door is and where? Right, so, so I'm gonna walk up there using 20 feet of movement and throw a ball. No, wait. Wait till he opens the door. Oh no, it's it's being thrown now. Okay. Yep. I'll just do any creature. So five, five is a black bear. Oh shit. That's like the, the worst bear. one it could be. The black bear sliding. The, bear. the black bear sliding down on it at least knocked the door, uh, the uh, elf back. <laughs> You'd think. Black bear, black bear, what do you see? We did check the side door first. It was, uh, um, rooms. I'm in the side doors of the tunnel. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna command him to whatever comes out of that door, you tear its face off. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. So, I still. What do I have to do to save from the poison? Is that an action to take to try and save from it? Alright. Yeah, it's just that there. It's not an action. It's just. Alright. See, no, no, that's my turn. Here, I'm done. Oops. Should Aaron do have saved for the poison as well at the end of his turn? Originally, it's Armando, Artorias, Arendelle, and Tommy. Yeah, it was four, because you didn't count me. Yeah, Armando failed, but I... Can, could I have saved from the poison and from the bolo? Or just nope. had to pick one, right? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I, I am poison still. You're, Arendelle, yeah. you're supposed to do it with advantage, though, right? I didn't drink the antitoxin yet. I took a cure. Oh, okay. Okay. Next turn. Okay, so on back here behind the table, you're saying there's still props. Where I am, um, there's not cow props, right? Okay, so what I want to do is. Sure. Um, is it possible to sweep them? <laughs> but, uh, but here's what I mean. Okay. Gotta get that magic room. No, no, no. I was I thinking. Fantasia all over its ass. If I take like a robe that I got from those other guys and I put it across the floor and pushed it, could I push them out of the way? 
Okay. Yeah, exactly. Come on. From my time at an end. Surely. Um, okay. So there's not a way to squat behind this and get cover for the next time this dude pokes his head out, right? Ooh, and the bear, too. That's true. Oh, well, there's a right. drought. He's fully camouflaged. Back it up. Oh, yeah, okay, I see. Okay, but, like, physical cover in case he throws something else out. Right. So what I'm asking is if there's a way that I can push things out of the way so that I can get total cover behind the table. Okay, so I, I could... I could move over here and and be and get total cover. Okay. Now, I, do I actually? Oh shoot! Do I, I do I have to see him? Right. Um. I could still hear him when he opens the door, right? Right? No, no, I know that. I know that. I appreciate you can see within range. Uh, I don't have to see something fairy fire, though, right? Yeah, I may well very fire the bear, but very fire. <laughs> Plus, it's a bear. <coughs> Shit. Right. Um. Yeah. Well, I had to ask you the I had to ask you the questions first. I'm sorry. Um, so, all right, so I can't do anything. How long is this cloud going? Ten minutes or something? All right. Um, and what's going on with this elf? He's prone, but nothing's... He's spinning around. All right, he's spinning around? And covered in grease. Okay, but he's free, right? Okay, so, all right, I'm taking out my silk rope, using Mage Hand to extend it over here, and I'm going to tell him to grab on. So I'm using Mage Hand. That's my, that's my action. That's my push. That's my deal. I'm sorry. To try and get this guy out of the way. Sure, he's gonna bite him. Do you got the stats for that? Or should I look at it? Uh, yeah. As he should. I mean, I'm sure the bear wouldn't want him to close the door.
he's gonna try and get out of there. Give him, give him, give him um, health or advantage with the rope. Because the rope should give him health, which would give him advantage to cancel it out, maybe. Yeah, no, I'm not. Can he just die from exhaustion? I suppose I have no idea that it's a bear over there. I mean, I couldn't see it. A bear should have 11, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that antitoxin. Okay. Read the text. Uh, read the text. Give me some alcohol. Um, you can pull it off my story if you want. That's what she said. Nice. So I was in and out of messing with a mic and holding the cat. Are there any other like doors we haven't checked that might go around this? Or have we heard of? Are there any other doors they're asking? Mike, is this the only way forward is going past Cobalt Gun? I see a bunch of other doors that have been open. Were there any other promising like ways around this that we no. found? No, these were all like dormitory beds. I see. What about like uh, where the cube was and around that way? Like We haven't looked. We haven't looked. Okay. Um, I'm going to, for now, just drink my antitox and then I'm going to move... 15, 20. I assume we're all talking and I hear Blix ask for this, so I'm just going to move as close to him as I can, wandering through the cloud of bag. And then con save with advantage at end turn, right? Okay. Efficient button zero mod. Button. Oof. Oh, I got it. Thank God you, you had that antidote. So is that just a one-time advantage, or did it? It's like like an hour. Okay, cool. So yeah, which means you're first. Okay. All right. So th you said this is heavily, the the cloud is heavily heavily obscured. So even if I'm at the end of the hallway here, I'm not like right here. I'm not going to be able to see what's happening here. <sighs> okay, well, I just, I don't see that I can do anything. If anyone has a suggestion you want me to do something, I'm happy to do it. Otherwise, I think I'm pretty useless here. I'm not sure what your spell slots are. I don't have any. You're just what's, completely out. What, what's your Warhammer do? Um, it's not going to do anything useful here. Okay. Uh, do, you, do you have the spell Prestidization ready? I don't have that spell. Oh. Tom, you could go down where that cube was and see if there's another way around this. I don't want to, like... Well, we have a door. I mean, there is a door down there, but... Um, That's about... Like, if you're just out of spells and you can't come up with anything else to do, I might suggest that. But I don't want you to get too far away and then just get... Obscured. Well, yeah, I don't know that it's such a good idea to maybe yes. trigger another encounter. Yeah, stick where you are. Okay, so... So... So, this, uh... Cyclone on it. Uh, if I, if I, uh, if I hug, grab the rope, uh, does that give me a bonus to the uh, beefback save I have to make? Let's... What I have planned is trying to get through here. Here. If you're where, climbing, where what's, I have a square what's, climb still. What, what save are you making at that point? Uh, let's see. I would assume I can make a reflex save cyclone area. Here. No, that's just a, a table. Not actually. Yeah. Oh, I thought there was a cyclone in this area. No, no, no. Oh, oh, 
Oh, okay. So if I spark climb my way, it, I can spark climb all the way to heal through the cloud then. Okay, so I'm going to climb this way here, and then the door is locked, right? No, it's open. It's open. It's okay, a so, so, so while moving, I get my... Uh, let's see, what weapon do I be getting out? And that one-handed, huh? Okay, so... Okay, wait. So what about over the barrel? I, ha I have a spark climb. Yeah, so I get the... Uh, oh, I, I cling to the wall, and when the opportunity for the kobold to come out to attack, I have my bow ready to be aimed at it. You did have to dash to get in there. Oh, so I can't prep a action if I move twice? No. Okay, then I just... So, while... Well, Okay, so I get my change my crossbow, my bow to the would be a uh, warhammer then, and then my turn cling to the wall. Are you still are you still outside the room? Okay. Yeah, when I get my turn, I will. <laughs> Thing, uh, fall down and hit the cobalt. Let's see. Can I use Gus to try to push the <laughs> fog back away or down into the corridor? That's what I'll do with my Gust. Out on the top. That way no, I wanted to push it down into the door where he's at. Where Tommy is? Nope. Uh, where, the bad guy's coming from here, right? Yeah. So I figured I would push the obscuring stuff into him. Oh, no, he's coming from that way. Okay, then I want to push it there. Into, like, into his room. Right now we have two people right in front of him. Ah. Yeah, don't do that. So, I mean, still do it. Fuck. Who cares? Uh, where, where do you think the best place it would be to push this out to get it like away from where we need it to be? Uh, I can would I push say... it out? No, because it's 20 feet radius. I'm sure the ceiling's not taller than 20 feet. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. This, this way would be difficult. You could push it into the room where Tommy is now and he could just move out of that room. Yeah, just Yo. give it to me, Armando. Alright, I'll game. push it that way then. The circle was for the Caltraps, not for the gas, though. Fair enough. There you go. Save from a poison, right? Okay, never mind it. So he's just stuck with it now? Okay. That's a good sign. Or is it? He said not believing it. Yeah. Great, now I still Ooh. can see. Wonderful. Uh, so you're saying I don't get to save at the end for the poison? Okay, well you... Okay, so Armando, you could do that, since you didn't get to do it on your turn. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. And then I'm going to move up here, which is all of my movement, pretty much. 
And I'm going to throw another ball. Into the, the room. Is that acceptable, DM? Oh yeah, it can't be. Okay. That's fair. Uh... So first bonus action, I'm gonna. Well, how tell... far do the balls go? Can you throw it past there? Like how far can 20, you throw the 20 ball? Twenty feet. Twenty feet. Okay. So I'm gonna tell the bear with my bonus action to attack the cobalt. Use that multi deck. And then I'm gonna use my action to throw. Oh, I can't create one. Great one, Mike. Right there, the little circle thing. Yep, clearly that's gonna help. So, seven is a giant hyena. Nice. I know, I'm making your day so much easier. And I will also tell him to eat the kobold. Is it really? Well, that sucks for the enemy. <laughs> and then that's my turn. That was all my movement. Okay. Alright, so they seem to have like a bunch of torches in front of me. What's that all about? Um Uh that that was from the light can trip. Okay, so I want to take my magic hand and give it the um, the alchemist fire. I'm okay with this. And move it. Let's see. So, all right. So first, I move over. I can kind of see what's going on. There we go. So I can see the doorway now. And. Two. You know, if you were to wait until my turn, I could throw some oil in there. Or I could just throw it in there, then you could throw the oil in there. Okay. Um, and I'm going to send the fire in with my hand um, into the room. And drop it. Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll see about that. He not twenties. Well, smart. What way? In terms of Dex, but you can recognize what's going on. So, Dex save or. Okay. Okay. So it drops in the room. Okay. So move it. Okay. So now it's in, now so now the room's on fire. Okay, so, so, is it two or three? Which way is he moving? Okay. Deeper and deeper. 
Okay, so with a warhammer. Oh, so I get to make one one attack and then and then the hyena how many? Okay. So Right. It's one from okay. everybody. So Okay. Nice. Confer let's see. Okay, so that's a natural twenty, so that's Wait, I yeah, he's still standing. <laughs> okay, so the bear hits him? Uh, the... Hi nice. <laughs> now, Aaron, no, if you want to throw the fire and, and the oil in there. Okay. <laughs> There may not be much left of them, but... But the room is on fire, right? The room is on fire. Uh, I am on the other side of the room here, on the, the, up, uh, uh, okay. Yep. On the ceiling. Okay. Yeah, if you can hit him, he can hit you. Okay. So, let's see if it hits. AC 16. Okay, and the poison. So... So, not it. Yep. So, Rip. so poison wall, so. Two? Okay. Okay. Okay, I am doing good, good still. And he's going to finally see the rope that is hanging from the, the side of the wall, and he's going to attempt to grab that to help him get off the turntable of doom. Oh, wait, no. Oh, did the turntable stop? Yeah, it stopped. All right, he's going to get up. And then he can see the cobalt. Uh... Wait, so half half that would be a quarter then. No, no, we're we're good. And he's gonna yeah shoot at him. <laughs> Just nice. drops him. We are victorious. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so... Yeah, I, I'll leave the rope. Okay. Let's check that room for anything yeah. valuable. And then... Well, the, the you put, the, put the fire out first. Uh, I'm gonna whistle for the my animals to come to me. No, oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. I, I just had to. Okay, so... This, what is the DC to beat for the poison? By the time we're... Okay. Should I make that check now, though? Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's just going to roll to beat the poison. No. So I poison still. <coughs> just forever and ever spamming it. And so Aaron is going to go in the rear. 
Uh, is it still like actively on fire? Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I understand. Okay, so I want. I probably want to see her like showed up. Parchment. Piece of parchment. Okay. So, can I use, um, Um, the, like, my forgery kit skills to, you know, figure out, like, what's going on with it. You know, like, if I'm good at... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so I could... Oh, okay. I used my mage hand to flip it over. Jesus, for real? Hmm. Um, the paper weighs more than 10 pounds. See, Cobalt, does he have any important items on him? Oh. Of course he did. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So ten. Is there any traps or anything on this thing? Here. So, I'm, I'm gonna roll the same. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold. Like, hold on, I, I, I want Tommy in here because I'm investigating, and if my if I'm really suspicious that my mage hand can't flip over a, a piece of parchment, a, a piece of parchment, and okay. the last time that we something didn't respond to my mage hand, um, it was a bad. Ended up, right, trying to eat the thief. So, mm. I'm gonna throw an arcana. Check it and see if there's like resistant, like if it has like some enchantment or some such. Jesus, okay. what happened to all my rolls are gone. Oh, so it's like a like a map or something, or can it be moved with the mage hand if not picked up? No, 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 no. The, can the you uh, grab a corner and like mess around with it? No, no I'm saying like let's say use mage hand and like grab a corner and that way. Okay. Hmm. So, so what uh, type of map it is exactly? We don't know. Hmm. All right. Well. Hmm. I. At least it can't. All right, it can't kill me. It, it can only make you stronger. I have a periaptive wound closure. So. I don't know how to Everybody out. Hmm? Everybody out. Especially poor Armando, who's not yeah. many hit points. And pretty boy, yeah. get out of the way. Ar Armando is leaving. Armando does not want any parts of this sheet. When right. Armando leaves, I'm going to shut the door. Okay. I'm going to flip Wait. the map over. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
It's a blue gun. It's a cloaker. <laughs> By God, they have cloaker. God damn it. <laughs> we just start. I mean, we just need to start burning shit. If the mage hand can't lift it, set it the fuck on fire. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got about. We've got about six minutes yeah. till my heart out. So. Maybe yeah. we should postpone this, this next time. Good, yeah. yeah. Can I keep that initiative though? Press. Yes. Dispensable cliffhanger. It's a cloaker. Yeah. Dude, yeah, you got, hey, Matt, you can't, you can't, wait, the first. You can't. You, you can't. You, right. there's, there's no way that you can let him have surprise on me because I knew it was coming and my character knew it was coming. Right? You can't give it surprise. Oh, th then it uses a, a Mark of Destiny and still has surprise. Whatever. You still get wrecked by a mimic. How, <laughs> how, how, wrecked how does it feel? Does it, does it feel good? Because it didn't feel good when I have it to me. Hey, no. look on the bright side, you guys. More mimic blood. Wait. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so far we have, so far my experience so far, I've seen a Mimic Tower, a Mimic Chest, a Mimic Map, and I'd be surprised if this was a Mimic Dungeon. The whole sewer the whole system. Wait, wait, so, so did we hear him scream? Because Arendelle closed the door, did we? Are, yeah. Please tell me it's gonna lay eggs inside of his body. I don't think that how I don't think that is the way how mimics reproduce 